So recreational cannabis sales have been big business in Nevada, and it's impacting one community on the Utah-Nevada border. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has more. Business appears to be going strong at West Wendover's Lone Cannabis Dispensary. Deep Roots Harvest does see a steady stream of customers. We get them from all over the place, Idaho, Nevada, Utah. They like to come visit us from all over. Recreational cannabis has been legal in Nevada since 2016. Deep Roots Harvest opened in West Wendover in 2019. When it opened, there was some anxiety over it, but West Wendover's mayor says, I really think it's gone great. I, I mean, I haven't heard that many complaints about it. Occasionally about the smell of cannabis because it's very distinctive and you know, it might be in the parking lots here or there. Um, but I've never heard anything really bad about it. And they are com good community um, partners. In fact, it's been an economic boon to West Wendover. Nevada collects an excise tax on cannabis that last year brought in $133 million. The Department of Taxation says last year Nevada had $848 million in taxable sales from dispensaries statewide. Since 2019, the taxes that West Wendover gets from cannabis sales have totaled just over $3 million. That's significant for a community of about 5,000 that relies on people who make a run for the border for gambling, concerts and other vices. That is a huge help to these organizations that they help out. West Wendover Mayor J.C. Holmes says they've been able to fund community projects with the money. Two years into it, we've given $114,000 to the school. Some of the projects have been playground equipment, um, benches for the football fields, security cameras, uh, football equipment. Deep Roots Harvest also donates on its own to community causes, like 15,000 recently to the local food pantry. We do donations to like our senior center. Um, we're doing donations to the air base, kind of getting them to do like a refurbishment on an air army jeep. So just giving to the community. While recreational cannabis is legal in Nevada, it remains illegal in Utah. Still, the Highway Patrol says it can only make traffic stops based on probable cause for things like impairment. I have not heard of that many incidences that have happened. I mean, there are occasional pullovers on I-80 that, you know, a DUI or something like that, which they shouldn't be doing in anyways. And Deep Roots manager says they do warn customers of the law. It is legal in Nevada, but you cannot travel over the state lines. You know, you got to make sure you're following all the regulations for Nevada, no public consumption. In West Wendover, Nevada, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah. We are learning more about a stabbing in Weber County earlier this month. The sheriff's office identified the suspect as 28 year old Arturo Medina Morera. They say he stabbed his wife in the neck with a broken piece of glass during an argument at their West Haven home.